Hey there, baseball fans. I'm Ben, and today I'm opening packs of 1990 Fleer baseball cards. This is the 10th anniversary set for Fleer. They were still putting stickers in the card in the packs at that time, and they are also true wax packs. So excited to open up these. Maybe find that super rare, expensive Jose Uribe, which we know is not super rare or expensive at all. Um, they also have the baseball quiz in the back of these, which is super cool. So. Just looking through these, see if we can find any of my favorite players. Oh, look, there's a Craig Biggio. Nice card there. Second year card for him. Dave Henderson. I always feel like Dave Henderson is always smiling. That's a guy who just seems to love baseball, so good for him. There's Larry Walker, also a good one. Looks super young there. Put that aside for collections. But really looking for, and there's Nadia Smith. So not a bad way to start us off here with three pretty darn good cards. I'm um, looking for my favorites, Sean Dunstan. And in this case, he's in the batting cage bunting, which we uh, I have tons of those cards, but I'd love to always see another one. It's fun opening it and finding your favorite player. Um, and then Ryan Zamberg also, someone I'm looking for. There's Paul O'Neill. And Ryan Zamberg, speak of the devil. There he is with Howard Johnson. NL East Rivals. I'm not sure why they particularly are rivals, but there you go. So put that aside for my personal collection. I'm uh, also looking for Mark Grace and Ryan Sandberg. Or, I'm sorry, not Ryan Sandberg. We just talked about him. Nolan Ryan. Those are my favorite guys, and you know, we'll be looking for stars and Hall of Famers too, as we always do. There's Harold Baines. You know, it's funny. I never would call him a star, and yet he's a Hall of Famer. Just put him aside just for fun. There's Jose Canseco. Looking every bit the superstar that he was at the time. And Jerome Walton coming off his Rookie of the Year season in 1989. These cards are about as plentiful as they come in the world. Vastly overproduced. Looks like we've got an all-star insert in here, which um, it's always cool when you get one, but I never seem to get any good players. And Howard Johnson, which again is probably fine, but certainly not what I'd consider an exciting, fun player to get in here. Look at Tom Herr <laughs> posing in that kind of weird kneeling way, looking very pleased with himself. Tom Herr. Whatever happened to that guy? Let's find out. We'll look him up afterwards. David Wells certainly had a good go of it eventually. Oh, there's Barry Bonds. Nice one there. Jim Clancy trying out some new grips. <laughs> or maybe not. Just fooling around. I always appreciated it when they would put pictures of these players kind of fooling around and being people because you know it's a long slog through the 162 game season so or well, maybe feel like a connection to them when you uh can see them having fun and messing around a little bit because it's a game baseball is a game it should be fun the kids that i coach that's always one of our rules is have fun all right i think i want to see a mark grayson here come on mark Show up for me. There's Cal Ripken Jr., player of the decade. Look at all that tiny type. Paul Molitor. Brewer for life. Actually, did he end his career with the Brewers, or did he go somewhere else? It's hard to tell at the end of these guys' careers. Another Cal Ripken Jr., with Tony Fernandez. I feel like Fleer, especially in 90 and 91, they always did the, hey, these two guys are near each other at the All-Star game. Let's take a picture and then decide to make a card out of it. So this was a league's best shortstops. Jim Abbott, miraculous story there. Hard work and dedication. Two Rick Leach right in a row. That's always nice. <laughs> Uh, 
And our last pack of the session. Ooh, an all-star right on the back. Oh my goodness. I'm going to save that excitement for the end. But it is, it is exciting. It's another Rick Leach. So we got quite the collection of Rick Leach today. What everybody dreams of is a Rick Leach collection. And Kirby Puckett. Not a bad one to end on there. But even better, for me at least, is the Ryan Sandberg All-Star Team insert. I know I'm not positive I have this one in my collection. If I don't, then I'll be really excited to pull that one out. It's in great shape, crisp corners. Very nice. So a couple Ryan Sandbergs to add to my personal collection. Some Hall of Famers and stars there. And Tom Herr looking very pleased with himself. Let's find out more about Tom Herr from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Not too far from where I lived at one time. I'll look him up. Tom Herr, American baseball player. Plays from 79 to 91. Never won a gold glove. Retired with the highest all-time career fielding percentage for National League second baseman. Wow. And the, and the problem, the reason he probably never won a gold glove is right during his active years of play, Ryan Sandberg was playing second base in the National League and almost always got that Glow Glove award. A, a figure that was matched and surpassed a few years later when Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg retired. So there you go. So batted 271, only 28 home runs, 574 RBIs. Cardinals, Twins, Phillies, Mets, and Giants. All-Star in 85. Look at that. World Series champion 82, St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame. You know, with a career like that, like that's not just like a, you know, oh, he made it to the bigs and he played a little bit. That's an awesome career to be an all-star, World Series champ, and be in the team Hall of Fame. I mean, come on. You can't ask for a whole lot more than that. 13 years in the bigs. After her hit the grand slam, many fans at Bush Stadium threw their stadium giveaway seat cushions onto the field in celebration. Walk off grand slam and extra innings against the Mets. That's awesome. Then he was the first manager of the his hometown team, the Lancaster Barnstormers, in the Independent American uh, Atlantic League. And he lost out to Vaughn Hayes to coach them in 2008. Well, there you go. So a baseball lifer for sure. His son was drafted by the Braves. But never quite made to the bigs. But joined his dad on the Barnstormers. Another one of his son, Jordan, played for the Barnstormers. Huh, there you go. So a baseball career, playing and managing, as well as a baseball family. As we, you know, honestly, that is the theme that we see more than anything, is baseball, once it gets in your blood, it kind of never leaves. So there you go, Tom Her. Hats off to you for making the bigs and having a nice family and staying true to your hometown roots in Lancaster, PA. And the rest of you, we'll see you next time.